there seem to be two different models of court interpreting. One has been adopted and followed up by domestic courts, by the courts of national jurisdiction. And in that system, there is a very strong sense that a court is a monolingual and monolithic judicial body that is not really ideally suited for interpreted communication. There is no place for an interpreter. Interpreters are mainly freelance, without necessarily any training, without the opportunity to prepare. They are not given any preparation materials, and they are not adequately briefed. One interpreter might be bound to interpret through the duration of the entire trial without having any teamwork or replacement. And these interpreters are remunerated at the same rate, by and large, as community interpreters. There is very little support there is very little understanding on the part of the judges and counsel, interpreter users, how to communicate via interpreters. So this is one model prevalent in domestic courts. And there is another model, the one that originated during the Nuremberg trials and that was developed by the Nuremberg International Military Tribunal in 1945-46. Uh, this model consists of um, a rigorous pre-selection and if necessary training of interpreters. Interpreters may be trained in their language combination in the simultaneous mode. The interpretation is done in interpreting booths like in the conference mode. Interpreters have ample opportunities for preparation, they are thoroughly briefed, they have a good understanding of the nature of the case. And there is a whole concept that the court assures the level of quality of interpretation, including opportunities for an early identification of errors. Uh, teamwork between interpreters is a very strong feature of what has become a practice in international courts. There are tremendous risks to do with the miscarriage of justice uh, in domestic courts. And I understand that there, have be, there has been a series of cases in, the Euro in European domestic courts of this nature. Um, it is a serious concern considering the direction in which community interpreting and legal interpreting seems to be going in countries such as the United Kingdom. Uh, while we are working towards educating or raising the awareness of justice and the lawyers, on the one hand, it is truly deplorable to see that interpreting working conditions, remuneration, training, opportunities to prepare seem to be going in the opposite direction. Um, and I would like to repeat again the risk of miscarriage of justice in domestic courts associated with everything we know about interpreting in domestic courts is tremendous. It's an enormous risk.